guilty. <clears throat> Given that you know they did it. This scenario says, given that you know they did it, what's the probability to find someone who's guilty? Given that you know they did it. If they say, given that you know they did it, like, like that, given you're already in that situation, that that event happened, that they act. Notice that this is a combination of two events. Do you guys see the two events? One event is whether they did it or not. The other event is whether they were found guilty or not. So this is a combination, a structuring of two events. You with me on this? So the first event, you're saying the first event already happened. They either did it or they didn't do it. So they're in one of these tables, given one of these columns. Given that they're in one of these columns, what's the probability that they're going to be found guilty? That's what this situation says. Are you with me on this? So given that you know they already did it, what's the probability that they're going to be found guilty? What this does to our table, notice, if you already know they did it, are you even going to care about these people? If you already know they did it, this is where you're looking. Do you care about this side? If you know they did it already, you're only looking at this column. How many people are guilty in this, in this column? How many total people are in this column? Where'd you get 81? Notice how we've eliminated half our table there. We've eliminated half our, our table because we're only looking at the did -its. This already kind of limited what we can choose from. We say, oh, there's only 72 people who did it out of a possible 81 who did it. If we know they already did it, that limits what we have to look at. How many people understood that? Raise your hand if you did. Okay, find one in your own form, and then we'll we'll call it uh, good for our section. What's the probability that someone did it, given that they were guilty? So flip it. Why don't you see if you can figure that one out? Hey, which one's given here? Is it given that they did it or given that they're guilty? Given that they're guilty, find the probability that they did it. So you need to know how to read this problem, right? I mean, read this problem correctly, right? You know how to read it right too, whatever. So if they're guilty already, you know they were guilty. Right in here that tells us we're looking at this one. Did you look at this one? This row. So it says they're already guilty. Tell me what's the probability that they actually did it. How many people actually did it who were found guilty? 72. 72 out of how many? Wait a second. Are these probabilities the same? What this says is that conditional probabilities, if I flip them around, are not necessarily the same. They can be different. You're talking about two different scenarios. If one thing happens before another thing, it can change that probability. I'll just have you with me on that one. Okay, find one more on your own, then we'll... Be good. Probability they didn't do it given that they're not guilty. How many people didn't do it in that column? How many people didn't do it, given that they're not guilty? Given that they're not guilty. So if you're, if you're given that someone's not guilty already, should you be looking at the guilty column or guilty row? We should only be looking at the not guilty row. So we're talking about given, not guilty. How many people didn't do it? 85. Good. Out of how many? Perfect. That's your probability. You can find a decimal equivalent for that as well. Just do your division. Which raise have you ever said what we talked about so far in 64.5? Good. All right.